We're going to look at three drawers, the Everstyle pant and linen drawer, the skirt and short drawer, and the shoe drawer. We'll first look at the pant and linen drawer. There are significant differences between the 14 inch and 20 inch versions of this drawer. So take note that we're currently looking at the 20 inch version in the widest width available, 36 inches. There are 15 hangers included with this 36 inch drawer. Different widths of drawers have fewer hangers. The 36 inch width has 12, the 24 has nine, and the 18 inch has six. The 20 inch depth, however, means that you could hang two pairs of smaller pants or items on each hanger if you choose. So there's a lot of storage here. If loaded to capacity, this 36 inch drawer could hold 30 pairs of slacks, but most homeowners are going to use one pair per hanger and typically one hanger per item if you're hanging shawls or linens. The hangers rest gently on top, so they're very easy to lift out and remove and replace. And with the softened edges on the square profile and textured black powder coating, your clients won't need to be concerned about pants creasing or slipping off the hangers. As mentioned earlier, there's a very significant difference between the 14 inch and 20 inch depths of this drawer. And here's what I mean. The hangers on the 20 inch deep drawer go from front to back and the 14 inch hangers run from side to side. This means that the 14 inch deep pant and linen always has only five hangers. Here you can see the smallest width of 18 inches with the five hangers. Wider sizes would have longer bars so you could hang more than one pair of pants on each hanger, especially on the 30 or 36 inch width sizes. Now let's look at the skirt and short drawer. As you can see, this is the same 20 inch frame from earlier, only now it's set up with 15 skirt hangers. If you look closer, the big difference here is that these hangers are made with a round black wire and are paired with black garment clips to hang skirts. As noted earlier, these hangers rest gently on top, so they're very easy to lift out, to remove and replace. These clips in this drawer configuration are best for storing skirts or shorts from the waistband. The skirt and short drawer is only available in 20 inches deep. In assessing storage needs and drawer sizing, the 20 inch depth made the most sense for this application. If you're looking for this type of hanging solution in a shallower system, we recommend switching to the pant and linen drawer or a traditional hanging pole with clip hangers. Another drawer only available at 20 inches deep is the shoe drawer. The shoe drawer has two rows, one in front of the other. As you can see, this 36 inch wide option can be loaded with up to 10 pairs of shoes. One of the questions commonly posed by designers is, how tall can heels be before they interfere with the row behind them? There are no issues with shorter heels. As you can see, the tallest heels still don't quite hit the tips of the shoes on the back row. And if your client has six inch heels, they should probably go in the back row. The bar on the shoe drawer can also be reversed, so if your client prefers to have his or her shoes face the back, the drawer can be reconfigured this way upon installation. You can also remove the back bar by removing the hex screw at each end, and then short boots or very large shoes could sit flat on this row. And why is there no 14 inch deep version? Well, if you lost six inches of depth, you'd essentially lose an entire row of shoes and the shoe drawer just wouldn't be as useful. A more traditional option for shoes like slanted shoe shelves is a great option for shallower systems. Or if you wanted a very low profile solution that works with Paxton and Everstyle, consider a Maddox wall organizer for storing shoes. Take your customer's needs into account to design the right option for their needs. As always, you can reference additional details for these drawers in the standard product guide. Thanks for listening and learning. Until next time.